Hey everyone. So relative to the text we're working with, I want to show you how to add a custom script to your script panel in InDesign. So when you pull open the script panel, which you can do by going to Utilities and then Scripts, I think it's Option Command F11 if you want a shortcut, it'll pull up this panel and you have two script uh, folders. One is a sample in application and then this is where all of your scripts will live and the easiest way to access this is to right click on it and click reveal in finder at which time it'll pull up the uh, dialog or excuse me the the finder window of the folder that those scripts live in that way you don't have to hunt and peck for it uh, maybe misapply your script or anything like that all you have to do is drag it, you can double click on this, you drag any script, any of these JSX files, uh, into the script panel and they will show up in there. So in our case, and this is linked to um, this page, this is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Peter Carell's um, Missing Lifts script as we demoed in class. You can um, find that in a uh, link below in the comments. So that's how you get here, and this is what we're going to download. Um, oftentimes they look like this or something similar, and so for this I'm going to right click and click save link as, and that's going to end up in my downloads folder. I already have it, so it's given this prefix, or sorry, suffix, and I'll click save. And then all I have to do is return to my finder window go to downloads, there it is, drag it in here, and just to prove that that works, I'll call this missing glyphs for class, drag it in there, and now when I come back to InDesign, just like that, it's in there. If you ever want to get rid of a script, it's as easy as dragging it to the trash, and when you return to InDesign, it's gone. So that's all there is to it. If you're working on a lab computer, just know that um, these are already applied. You don't have to do anything about it. Um, but if you're at home or on your laptop or whatever and want to add this for the purposes of class or I suppose other situations, that's how to do it. Thanks.